Welcome to Retirement Talk, the show that gives you wealth strategies that actually work. Well, Pete, today we're going to talk about something that everyone needs to know about right now. We're in a volatile market and there are some really important questions, folks, that you ought to be asking your advisor in this market. We're going to talk about what are the top questions that you need to be asking your advisor in these volatile markets. And the first one, Pete, mm -hmm. really starts with this whole idea of is your financial advisor a fiduciary? Yeah, absolutely. And so what that means is, are they looking out for your interests first and best? Uh, you know, you can work in the retirement field or the financial field without being a fiduciary. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you, you know, you're out to just get people and do bad things to them, but <clears throat> they don't have to live up to the highest standard. So there, there certainly can be times that they act on their own behalf uh, instead of thinking of you first. So we think, and, and John and I together, our firm, we feel very, very strongly that being a fiduciary is very, very important. And just by the way, at our own business at beaconcm.com, um, all of the financial advisors that advise clients and families about their money in retirement are fiduciaries. So this is a critical question. Let's get to the heart of when they make decisions, whose interests come first? Yeah, and I'll give you a great example. I mean, you know, in the 20 plus years that we've been doing this and all the different volatile markets that we've seen, mm -hmm. yeah, there's always a few examples that, that stand out. I remember during one of these seasons of volatility, I met with this couple who, uh, probably a lot like you, they worked really hard their entire life. They had delayed gratification, raised an amazing family of kids who actually were independent and on their own. and not relying on mom and dad and everything else. Mm -hmm. And we were having all this volatility and I'll never forget this. This lady walks in with her husband and she's holding her statements and she's literally shaking. Her statements are shaking. I thought like legitimately we were actually gonna have to call like an ambulance to mm -hmm. come here. She could barely talk, but I do remember she just looked at me and she said, I don't know what's happening, but we are losing everything that we have worked for for the last 40 years please help us. Yeah. And her current advisor at the time, they couldn't even get this particular advisor on the phone, if you can imagine that. We hear that a lot. All the time. And so in those situations, which are which are somewhat rare, mm -hmm. um, working with a fiduciary is really important because you know, it would have been very easy in that case to sort of manipulate that situation right. and the emotions that they were feeling. Uh, and they were ready to do something right then. Well. You know, you want to take your time. You want to analyze what you're looking at. Does something need to change? If so, what does that need to be? Does nothing need to change other than the fact that we need to be a little calmer and just kind of ride through the storm to get to the other side? So a fiduciary is required to act in your best interest, no matter what the mm -hmm. economic market is that's out there, whether it's volatile or not, it's really important. Yeah, and a fiduciary will want to not just manage your money, they will want to manage your emotions. Mm -hmm. That is their job, to come around you to help you in a time like that, not hide under their table hoping another client doesn't call them back. Mm -hmm. So then the next one is, you know, what what is our view on volatility? You know, is it our friend? Is it our enemy? Should we fear it? What about that, John? Oh, listen, <clears throat> believe it or not, volatility is your friend if you're looking for opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's kind of interesting in these seasons of volatility. I, I remember back in 2008, where uh, Apple, which is a household name, mm -hmm. went from the, the high that it was at to less than $80 a share. Mm -hmm. uh, what an opportunity in that environment to pick up a stock that mm -hmm. Apple wasn't worth less than it was prior to right. the Lehman collapse, right? Mm -hmm. It was just beaten down by an emotionally driven market, which volatility may not seem like your friend, mm -hmm. But if you have a well thought out plan, and then if that plan is adjusted as needed, mm -hmm. um, it presents massive opportunities. Well, 
it's sale time. Who doesn't like a great sale? And so you think of Black Friday. It's like Black Friday all month long. There are opportunities to buy on sale. John, it's times like that that I go into the sofa and fight the grandkids for the change that's in the sofa so I can put more money in the market because I can turn that quarter, that dollar, into a lot of money over time. Yeah, I try not to think about Black Friday <laughs> because those are not great memories in the Maxon household. <laughs> Um, so yeah, use volatility as your friend. And then one of the questions that we get asked during seasons of time, times mm -hmm. like this is, you know, how does your firm or how do you manage plans or financial plans in a, in a bear market? Well, guess what? Um, you don't need to plan when you, when you set up a financial plan, you don't need to plan just for the good times. Mm -hmm. You need to plan for the bad times mm -hmm. in advance. Now, yes. if if that's not your story, we have this kind of saying around our office that wherever you're at, you're at. Mm -hmm. That that doesn't mean that you can't make tweaks and improvements if there need to be done. But mm -hmm. a financial plan is like it, it's like a it's a breathing model of who you are, and it needs to be adjusted mm -hmm. as economic situations, market conditions um, require that. That's what a financial advisor, if if being a financial advisor is no more complicated than just buying a few funds and just hanging on to them and never tweaking it, never monitoring it, hey folks, you don't need us or any other financial advisor to do that. You, you pay a professional in any industry to do something you either don't want to do for yourself or you can do for yourself. Uh, most people are of capable of buying a couple of funds and just kind of riding the roller coaster. That's right. not what you want to do. And, and here's the thing, John. We, we believe strongly that that plan for the bear market is done sometimes years in advance. Mm -hmm. You don't wait until the crash comes. You don't have to wait until there's an emergency. You build a wall, you, you build a fence at the top of the hill, mm -hmm. not just rescue people at the bottom when everything has happened. So we'll have clients that will sometimes in a year like this, they'll call us and what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And we're like, we've already done it. We've already done it. We've already planned for this because we knew it was going to happen, not just this particular timing, but it's going to happen. So you mm -hmm. have to have that in place. Um, but, you know, planning for bull or bear market, sometimes it's in the best bull markets that you plan for the bear and the best bear markets that you plan for the bull. So again, uh, having a plan, working with an advisor that has a strategy and a plan well thought out ahead and isn't just reactionary. Mm -hmm. Now, there are opportunities that we want to take advantage of that we didn't realize sometimes, and, and those will do that. And so then our fourth and final question is, how do you communicate with your clients? Mm -hmm. um, well, we hope they don't call. No, that's, <laughs> not, that's not what we do. You know, it's, no. it's kind of interesting. I always tell our staff, and our clients, you know, over the years, Pete, we've done interviews on Fox Business and MSNBC and all the media outlets. The media is pretty much biased, no matter, matter who you talk to. Mm -hmm. And when we're having these seasons of volatility, I don't want the voice that my clients are hearing mm -hmm. to be Fox or Jim. MSNBC or people that I would consider to be entertainers, not financial advisors. Sure. And so, you know, we're very proactive in yeah. how we talk to our clients through a lot of different ways because people will say to us all the time, I was, I was upset, I was nervous, I was concerned, and then I got a phone call or I got mm -hmm. this communication from your office and I can't tell you how much confidence that's given me through this period of time. So it's so important that you communicate effectively with your clients. Yeah, you can't communicate too much. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we, we take a strategy and, and a stance that, you know, we want to be out there ahead of everybody else. So communication is very, very important. Just like I said, you need to manage people's emotions. You do that by being in touch with them and them hearing from you and getting clarity on what to do when things like that happen. So again, uh, those are great questions in a volatile market, and that's certainly something that you need to uh, read up on, learn more about. Thanks for watching our show today. Be sure to subscribe to get our latest episodes. And for more information on this and other topics, go to retirementtalk.com.